Blender 4.0 comes with one very special update that is a complete game changer. This single feature totally changes the way we will render in Blender. It literally feels like cheating and it's awesome. Let me show you. However, before you move on to rendering, you should master the basics of Blender and hard surface modeling first. This is why I recommend you our free hard surface jumpstart course, which will teach you just that. All the foundations of hard surface modeling, all the techniques for maintaining clean shading, cleaning your topology, also basics of rendering. And then you can come back to this video and enjoy it on a different level. The link to the course is in the video description. Like I said, it's free. Blender 4.0 has an incredible tool that I always wanted to have in Blender. It's uh, what we use in photography, it's flags and reflectors, but uh, Blender just... Uh, completely killed it with this new update and it will change rendering forever and um, whether it's cars products or just regular renders for your portfolio doesn't matter what it is it's freaking insane and it's called light linking and shadow linking and let me show you what i mean so we have this truck in here you can see that we have uh, all kinds of lights you know of all colors and they um kind of shining on very specific areas and the way I achieve that is by light linking and shadow linking. And I'm going to show you how it works in a second, but I just want to give you an overview. So basically the whole idea is to link a specific light in Blender to an object or a collection. So if I'm going to grab this light and I'm going to move this, you can see that it affects only the tire. Okay, that's the only thing in effect, not the floor, not the gear here, the uh, suspension, not the truck, just the floor. And if I'm going to, for example, grab one of these lights that's showing on the front of the truck, you can see that it affects only the front of the truck, not even the bumper because it was unlinked. The same with the backlight here, uh, shining on this, uh, uh, let me see, where is it? Um, shining on the back here on the truck uh, is this one. It affects only, right, the top here, right? So with this tool, you can link and unlink lights and you can literally move a collections object in and out. And you can very precisely determine what is being lit and what isn't. That's how I was able to achieve the separation on wheels. We have small, um, small lights here, they are point lights. And they just light only this rim here, not the floor, not the tire, not anything else, just the rim. So if I'm going to go here, you can see that I have quite a few lights in here and they're all very specific. Uh, like I said, these are on tires, you know, these are on the back of a truck, this on the front of a truck, etc. right? So there you go. And that's super helpful and it's going to completely change the way you're going to approach render from now on. So these tools are extremely helpful and it will change the way you approach renders from now on. They're absolutely fantastic. You can blend your HDRI with lighting in Blender and get some sick results. So for example, now here, if I go to my uh, shade editor here and go to world, and I'm going to, you know, link an HDRI here at a very, very, very low setting. Uh, you can see the separation on the background. You can even go lower, like, you know, 0 0.02 and you can see it still creates a little bit of an ambient light and kind of opens up the whole image at the background but the main lighting comes from you know this these lights right so now you can really have some fun with lighting so let me show you how this works uh, in blender it's really simple right so we're gonna grab a cube here so let's grab a cube and i'm gonna drop some mat on it and we're gonna grab a plane here and drop it down and I'm gonna drop a mat here as well. And uh, let's go to render view. Uh, and we're going to turn off the HDRI. So let's go here to shade editor and world. And we're gonna just, you know, turn it off. So now I'm gonna grab a light. Uh, so any light will do really. Let's go to spotlight and move it somewhere here. And I'm going to, you know, move it back here on the X axis. And I'm going to point it by dragging this point on the. Uh, on this cube right and now i'm going to bump the strength here to maybe i don't know 2000 right and let's just zoom in and see what happens let me just change the reflectivity here uh, metallic let's just go it's non metallic and uh, this cube could be actually non metallic as well and maybe a little bit brighter put some color on it there you go and you can change the properties of the slides it's a bit hard 
So we're going to uh, change the, uh, not the spot side, the radius to make it a bit softer, right? And maybe blend it a little bit better and maybe increase the power to like, you know, I don't know, 5,000 so you can see it really well, okay? Cool, so now we got this lighting going on and um, let me show you what it does. It's very fantastic. So let's say that we wanted this light to shine only on the cube, but we don't want it to spill on the floor. So what you can do is click on the light and go here to data and go to um, shading and go to light linking and click on new. And now what you need to do is drag and drop here either the uh, the object or the collection the object is in, okay? Because you could drag a collection as well. Drag a cube and drop it in here. And now you can see that the light affects only the cube. It's linked only to the cube and it's unlinked from the floor. If you're going to drag the floor as well, right? You can actually change how it affects the floor too by unchecking this, uh, this box here, unticking the box, right? So you can turn it off and on. You can affect just the floor. And then on top of this, you can also unlink the shadow. You can see that we uh, don't have any light falling on the cube, but we have a shadow falling on the floor. So let's, uh, you know, drag a fro floor here. So let's click on the light, all right? And let's just grab this plane here. And you can see that the shadow has disappeared and now we have only the light. So you can unlink the shadow and unlink the light, right? And you can turn them on and off um, and uh, really precisely determine how you want your light to affect your scene. So this is how it works. And like I said, you can link entire collections and you can um, drag, drag and drop them, or you can just link uh, specific objects. It's a very powerful tool, play with it and play with it in conjunction with the HDRI. Um, because HDRI always provides you with a little bit of an ambient light, even at very, very low settings like this, or maybe something a bit higher. Um, and, you know, you see that it's going to open up the scene a little bit, which is really cool. But in addition to that, you're going to have some lighting falling on objects. And then you can also unlink shadows. So, for example, if you have objects in front of an object, you know, and they're going to be casting shadow, you can actually unlink that too. Uh, so um, you can, you know, combine these effects together to create something that normally you wouldn't be able to achieve in Blender or you would need to really uh, play with some, you know, flags and reflectors. It would be very, very difficult to do or you would need to combine multiple renders in Photoshop. So in my opinion, this is one of the best features uh, since 2.8 dropped. It's absolutely incredible and for rendering it's a complete game changer. And I think you should, you know, take it seriously and really play with this because I'm confident that this will allow you to create renders that's going to be absolutely insane. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.